Welcome to ABC Bullion's 360 Weekly Wrap. My name is Crystal Thivios and I'm joined once again by our resident precious metals expert, Global General Manager of ABC Bullion, Nick Frappel. Hi Crystal. Hi Nick. So gold last week, did mm. we hit the 1760 US dollar resistance level? Almost. Yeah, it came pretty close. We That's went good. to 1755, I think on the 18th. Yep. So it kind of went up to the area that we had talked about, you know, that it should head up there, to, head up to, and then, you know, came off, you know, in just a, a nice little wave, um, made its way back to the, uh, to the low 30s again and found support. So a little bit of an uncertain recovery, but certainly going, going to plan after that really, really important support level. Nice. And do you see the risk of this bond market decline influencing the price further? Yeah, I think so. It's such a powerful trend. And when you look at it on the charts, this is the, the sort of rise in yields, decline in bond prices is so um, such a such a strong, obvious trend um, that at the moment there's no, you know, there's no clear sign that you'd want to stand in its way. Yeah. I think in terms of where things could go, you could easily see it plus two, you know, when made a high last year, last week of 1.75, I'm kind of thinking it might top out at, you know, 2.14 in the medium term. So that's kind of where I'm seeing yields going, but not a trend I'd want to stand in front of. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And what about silver? Is it following a similar trend to gold? It's been a little bit sideways. And, you know, it's, it's still trading around that weekly standard line, yeah. just below the daily cloud, but around the weekly standard line. It, it weakened off a little bit uh, today. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if it sort of did that 25 um, test or maybe high 24 test. So it's, you know, it's just kind of moving back and forth. It isn't really uh, showing any signs of either really, really positive behavior or really negative behavior. Okay, so what's the positioning like for gold and silver then? Well, last week, um, I, one of the things I said was that the fact that gold long positioning, managed money positioning, had reduced so far that actually gave me some kind of optimism that, you know, people should come back in. And they have come back in to some extent. Um, there's been about 445,000 ounces of buying from fresh managed money longs coming in, about an average of 17, 18 on, on COMEX. Yep. Um, it's actually been bigger buying from shorts because shorts came in, I think, uh, 1760 and maybe 1708 roughly. Um, and the rise last week actually pulled about three quarters of them out of the market. So that was, or 70% of that, that was three quarters of a million ounces of buying on top of the um, additional longs. So ETFs, ETFs continued declining a little bit. Um, on the silver front, longs didn't really change that much. But what we did see was about eight and a half million ounces of um, fresh shorts coming in. Nice. Yeah. Exactly. And to finish, any comments on our Australian dollar? Well, it's really just moving uh, pretty much sideways. It's still that 76, 78 range. Uh, nothing's really, really sort of changed, you know, dramatically on that front. Um, one thing that has happened is with this big sell-off in the lira, although it's not really related to the Aussie per se, it's made people a little bit risk averse and shun a few of the sort of the more volatile currencies. So that's slightly, um, you know, slightly sort of capped the Aussie. But I think, I think this week is still a kind of 76, 78 range. Awesome. Okay. okay cool. Thank you so much, Nick. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in once again. For more from ABC Bullion 360, please follow us on our socials or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until then, happy trading at abcbullion.com.au. Thank you.